Oh yeah, well, hey, after this morning with all the cloud cover that we dealt with, it is a totally different picture out there. Now this afternoon, we see a little bit of clouds off in the distance here, looking back toward Roslyn, but the sunshine is out in full force. A nice thing to see, but our camera is not exactly still here today as those winds they have picked back up and that's about the same here with our view over Hagerstown. The camera not able to stay totally still with how windy it is getting out there. Here's what we're tracking as we go through the next few days here this week. Well, first and foremost, yeah, the gusty winds, they are back here across the DMV and it's going to remain gusty the rest of today into tonight and even on Wednesday, it's still going to remain breezy as a very strong area of high pressure moves in. That's at least going to give us more of the same in terms of those sunny skies. They will stick around all the way through Thursday when the winds finally do start to calm down. Thursday is looking like quite a beautiful day with a little only a little bit of wind and plenty of sunshine. But then things get a little messy on a Friday as a new storm system will be rolling in. The end of the week is looking rather soggy and possibly even a little bit wintry for some as once again there could be a brief wintry mix over the mountains with that next storm system on Friday. But that's still a few days down the road. We'll be tracking that as time rolls along here. But for the short term, we're still dealing with these winds here steadily coming out of the northwest at 15 to 25 miles an hour at times, especially late this afternoon going into the evening. We will see those peak wind gusts here up to 30 to 40 miles an hour, but those gusts will only last for so long. The winds will be persistent, though, staying through the night around the 10 to 20 mile per hour range and yes there you have it on Wednesday no let up with those winds we do though finally start to calm things down Wednesday night going into the day on Thursday now with these northwest winds it is going to remain cooler so grab that heavier jacket you will need it here the next couple of days feeling more like early March as those temperatures this afternoon barely get back into the low 50s and then tonight with the clear sky and those consistent winds we will see low in the upper 20s to low 30s to kick off your Wednesday and then tomorrow afternoon more of the same staying in the upper 40s to low 50s. That is all the warmer we are going to get. So it is technically still winter time everyone and yeah, don't sleep on winter just yet. The extended temperature outlook going toward St. Patrick's Day and the upcoming weekend there very much favors cooler than normal temperatures across much of the East Coast down toward Virginia, North Carolina, and of course we are very much included in that. So January and February may have been very, very warm, but we are due for some cooler temperatures here. We're not talking Arctic cold, but certainly a little bit chillier nonetheless. Wednesday and Thursday, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful sunshine sticking with us. Friday, we'll see those rain showers move in in the afternoon with that mix possible over the higher elevations. And this weekend, not looking the greatest. Plenty of clouds, some spotty precipitation with those temperatures hovering around the 50 degree mark.